Hello guys, welcome back to Gitchar Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. The front is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even the black screen and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this trouble, we have to do a simple restart. So just go over here in the start, click on this icon, go to the start and go for restart. Once the restart is done, we just need to try launch the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. Once you're done with this one, if the issue is still there, we can try moving to the next step. That is all about, we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So most of us launch the game from Steam, that is why we might be having the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we have two methods, there is a shortcut from the Steam, right click, go to the properties, install it file and just click on the browse, that will take you to this. And if you check over here, there is this PC, local disk C, program for x86, Steam, Steam Amps, common, the friend. So just launch the game from here, that will be working fine. So we can try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. Or else we can just close this, close this as well. We can uh, go back to the Steam, now go to the file explorer, go to this PC, navigate to the installation folder, that is local disk C, program for x86. Go to Steam, go to Steam Amps, go to Common. Now from here we have to navigate to the front. So uh, let me go here the front. Now try launch the game from here, that will be working fine. So for many of the users, when they launch the game from the installation folder, it did work it for them, so you can try this one as well. Next one is all about, we need to launch or we need to run the game as an administrator. So we can run it from here. So right click, go to the show more options, go to the properties go to the compatibility, click on run this program as an administrator and go for yes, go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one that is all about we need to run the game. Uh, we, know we need to run it in compatibility mode, so just click on show more options, go to the properties, compatibility, click on run this program in the compatibility mode and we have to set this to Windows 7, go for apply and go for ok or you can set this to Windows 8. Go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well. So uh, you can try either one of this way and that will be working fine and once you're done with this one if the issue is still there you can try with the next one. Next one is all about we need to set the time language and region should be correct. So just go over here in the search we have to go to the settings. Now from here we have to go to time and language. Go to the date and time. Make sure the time zone and time automatically should be turned on and also you can try sync now should be done also. Just go back, go to the language and region. Go to the country or region, make sure you have to select the geography according to your country. So if you're from United States, you type United States. If you're from any other country, select the country according to your geography and once you set this up, try launch the game. If that is still the issues there, we can try with the next one that is all about we need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer and we have to go to this PC, navigate to the documents and first check whether the game is here or not or else go to my games and you will be able to find the game. If you find the game, just delete it. Keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions when you do this but that is fine, just do, uh, just do this and once afterwards try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game and we have to press Alt and Tab together. And this did work it for many users, you can try this out, just, so just click on the play button and you have to press Alt and Tab together and that will be working fine as well. It did work it for many users, you can try this out. Once after this, if the issue is still there, you can move to the next one, that is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search, go for control panel. Now go over here in the uh, you know, net, uh, system and security, go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall and now from keep scrolling down and navigate to the friend, keep scrolling down and navigate to the friend. So over here we'll be able to find uh, the friend. Now if you keep scrolling down and navigate to, you will be able to find it the friend. Make sure that both the private and public has to be checked, which is very important. So if it is not checked, if it is not marked, you have to mark it. And also keep in mind, if the game is not here, we can add it by default. So just click on the change setting, go for allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC, go to local disk C, go to program file x86, go to Steam over here, go to Steam apps. Now go to common. Now from here, go to the friend over here. Just keep scrolling down and navigate to the friend, select this one and go for open and add it. So keep in mind when you do this, you will be losing, uh, you have to keep in mind 
uh, once you do this just close everything and go back and check by launching the game whether the issue is solved or not if the issue is still there you can move to the next step that is all about we have to unplug all the usb devices so we might be connected with lot of things for example uh, many multiple things might be connected controllers might be connected or additional joysticks might be connected so just remove everything once you remove everything try launch the game and you have to see whether the issue is solved or not because it is very important and once if it is done you can try launch the game and once the game is launched and if you are in the game you are fine with it you, you don't have to do anything or else you have to remove everything and try launch the game and you can continue playing the game with the controllers after the game is successfully launched next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search we have to go to system configuration go to services and we have to go for hide all microsoft services and go for disable all go for uh, disable all over here go to the hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay they can ask you restart the users can go for a restart uh, you know you can go for exit without restart but the users who are watching this go for restart because once after the restart is done we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to disable the steam overlay for just go over here in the game right click and go to the properties go to the install it file sorry go to the general make sure this is turned off if it is turned on we have to turn this off try launch the game if that is not the case we have to go over here in the launch option it is another step where we have to give the command the first one dx11 try with dx11 and try launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launch the game and that will be working fine so you can try either with dx11 or you can try with dx12 and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, close all the overlay applications so just go over here in the start right click and we have to go to the task manager now from here we have to go over here and if you find uh, the details over here for example if you find discord reward tuner msa afterburner which comes with the category of overlay and overclocking application which is why many of the users are having the crashing issue just remove everything from here once you remove everything we just need to close this and we have to go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search and we have to go to graphics settings now from here we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to the game the game is not added so i'll be showing you just click on the browse now from here go to this pc go to local disk c go to program file x86 go to steam and we have to go to steam apps and we have to go to common now from here we have to scroll down and navigate to the friend now select this one and go for uh, this one so you can go over here in the win 64 so just select this one and go for add so once it is added just click on the option make sure this should be changed to high performance and go for save and once afterwards just close this and go back try launch the game next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search we have to go for view advanced system setting go to the advanced go to settings once again advanced once again go for change if this is a uh, market you have to uncheck this and keep this blank and select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size and set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so just go over here go to the calculator just type your ram the 32 gb is my ram so i have to multiply it with 1024 that is a constant value for initial size we have to multiply it with 1.5 that brings you this 14 and 152 just copy this and we have to paste it next one we have to try with 32 gb multiplied with 1024 that brings you into 3 that brings you 98 304 just copy this and we have to paste it and we have to set the value everything okay just close this and we have to go back and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows just go over here and go to the settings now go for windows update and just update your windows and make sure the windows is up to date which is very important once afterwards just close this and we have to go back try launching the game next one is all about we have to do is we just need to update the graphics card so i'll be showing you this so just go over here in the nvidia just select every details like your product type and your product series product everything should be selected and go for start search and once you go for start search you'll be getting the latest released outdated versions from here so the 5 that is 7.58 is the latest release driver version which is on august 10 2023 so just download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game the md we have to go over here and go for submit 
Now from here we have to go over here if you're on Windows 11 download this one if you're on Windows 10 we can download this one and install and also you can try installing the Microsoft Visual C++ that will be working fine as well. So just download this one install restart is a mandatory and also if the system is based on x64 download this one if the system is based on x86 download this one restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. So once afterwards, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one that is all about. We can uninstall the game and reinstalling it back. So just go over here, go to the friend, manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, it should not be depending on local disk C. You can try any other local disk and that will be working fine as well. So even after trying all these things, if the issue is still there, you can try with the very important one that is all about verify integrity of game file. So just go over here, go to the properties, click on the install it file and just click on the verify integrity of game file. This is going to take a little bit of time, so we just need to wait this to reach 100% and once afterwards, try launch the game and that will be working fine. So let me wait this to reach 100% and I will be showing you the next step.
So once everything is successfully validated, just close everything, try launch the game and that's what we have to do. I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.